So one thing you might remember about something like an integer is a standard integer only has about 3.1 billion potential numbers. I can only get up to 3.1 billion. Even when I start to use something like a long, there is a cap to that. There is some data cap because I can only store 64 bits of data. Again, the integer can only store 32 bits. So what happens if you know I need a number that's bigger than 64 bits? Well, we're not screwed. Uh, you know, programming does allow us to do that kind of thing. And here's a good example. We actually have in the standard library, again, the standard library, something known as big integer and big decimal. And I'm pretty certain you can already guess what they both do. They both allow us to handle really big numbers. For example, you know, if we kind of cap this off, we got a one here, one here, one here. I don't even know how big that number is. I just started typing that out. So it's a lot of numbers. Well, I can't store it in an integer and I can't store that in a long. So what happens? Well, I can go ahead and turn it into a string. You know, I have to first turn it into a string because uh, Java can't handle any number that big by itself. So it has to be a string. And I just make that a new, say, big integer. Big integer x equals new big integer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. What I can do all of a sudden is I can do some of these different methods that have been built for me. Again, I don't need to know how they operate. I mean, I know, I hopefully know how multiplication works, uh, especially if I'm in this class. <laughs> but again, how does it work uh, on a computer, you know, in the background? I don't care about that. I do like the fact that all of a sudden I can do this kind of mathematical equation. I can go ahead and say, oh, well, I need to take this big number and I need to do multiplication with it. Again, it's a big number. Java doesn't know how to handle it by itself because it's going to be bigger than that. So what it can do is go, oh, well, you know, let me first treat it like a string and then I'll do the math individually. Same kind of concept goes on with decimal place. What happens if I need uh, something more, uh, more, what's the word I'm looking for? What more precise than 64 bit decimal places? You know, somewhere like NASA, or if you're working in any kind of scientific field, you want it to be as precise as possible. And that might mean that, yeah, you might need to go a little bit more than 64 bits worth of decimal places. Well, guess what? We have a class that works for us.